hear the words of this prophecy correct and keep those things which are written therein the words must be kept which are written therein for the time is at hand for the time is at hand for the time is at hand this is very profound this is very very profound I'm telling you, Revelation chapter 21, it makes a lot of sense in the time in which we are living in. First number one, let's work. Revelation 21 verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. I saw a new heaven. I saw a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. The first heaven and the first earth will pass away. And this earth will pass away. Now it's making sense to me. It's making a lot of sense to me. This heaven this skies and this earth it will pass away it will pass away i'm telling you the church shall rise up and begin to sound this alarm it will pass away now everybody is not talking about visa traveling in business class traveling in first class uh wearing louis vuitton Givenchy, Charles shadow tom ford brioni and all that i wear a gucci i wear a chanel and all that nobody is not because everybody have realized that we are all nothing your nice suit has nowhere to go your nice outfit has nowhere to go. Now we are beginning to rethink and reconsider our ways. My God, I wish the wise can be able to get this revelation. Oh yes, I wish the wise can get the revelation. Share the page. Let us work. We are dealing with something very profound. Yeah, you know, the, the, uh, what Ghana is one place where we love to party. We love to party. You know, our news items during weekends, you know, there is always dancing in it. At a point, Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, you know, it's new. Saturday and Sunday, you always see people dancing. We love to party. Now, no parties. No parties! A corner and to be trapped. I mean, when I look at the tough time that few uh, recalcitrant and rebellious stiff-necked people uh, will give you, and yet you still uphold your prof prof professionalism and patriotism in all the absurdity, the Lord richly bless you and honor you. I want to welcome all our brothers and sisters on Facebook Live and also on uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, the guys on podcast, thank you very much for you all joining us. We are grateful. In the morning, we are we were having some very crazy uh, network issues. The network, you know, started very, very bad. But I thank God by the grace uh, of God, we are good. And so do me the favor and share the page. Let us have a very good service. Dr. Mark, this morning, I will thank you and your team very much for honoring us. You know, uh, in all that mix up, thank you. We really appreciate you. I want to thank God before I start for my team, my management team, the Flight Alabasta, for, you know, going through all the uh, turbulentic period and uh, moments to put it all together for us to have this particular lovely time to preach God's word. My name, Kofi Odro. This is the F5 service. F5 means fresh fire for family and friends. We're going to be with you from now until we bring the curtain down on this particular program. Our family scripture. John chapter 12 verses number 20 and 21. John the 12th chapter. The 20th and 21st verses. The Bible said take, no uh, 20th and 21st verses. There were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip which was of Bethsaida of Galilee. They desired him saying, sir, we want to see Jesus. The same therefore came to Philip which was of Bethsaida of Galilee. They desired him saying, sir, we came to see Jesus. And some of can hear you for your hand in some pity to me and you know yet you know any at you know back and some panel said you you had it a credit and you need to that you do me and you know yet you know yet you know back a tv as some no essay and quite if you will woman pastor will ever have my unity everybody else 
Na hila fubu ono oba aso rebe sura fashe na sinimu. Eno oba Filipo ao fube isa da woge lelea nonche. Eno oba kache nise ura. Yepe siye huni Yesu. Eno oba Filipo ao fube isa da woge lelea nonche. Eno oba kache nise ura. Yepe siye huni Yesu. Have you read you that I would like us to go further and read Luke chapter 21 verses number 34 to 36. Luke the 21st chapter. The 34 to the 36 verses. This is a very profound revelation of God's truth. As a matter of fact, most of these scriptures in a time like this, in a tabulantic time, like this, many, many scriptures are making a uh, profound sense. Many scriptures. And I would like to read some of the scriptures that are making profound, listen to what I'm talking about, profound sense. This particular one, Pastor, you know, Willie, uh, you know, is about to read, it makes prophetical sense. Many people that have followed this ministry, well, you know, uh, I got a message around 2 a.m. this morning. Uh, the message was saying, uh, you have been preaching that something is coming. I have seen uh, a glimpse of something that is coming. You know, and I said to God be the glory. This something that is coming, you know, is terrifying. As a matter of fact, in our intercession, ladies and gentlemen, we pray that God will stay his hand and also have mercy on the world and deliver us from this evil. I miss church. I miss my crusade. I miss a lot of things that I would like to go back to. And so nobody is enjoying this, but Jesus said it must come. There are certain things that, you know, we cannot avoid. But we can ask his mercy and his grace to have mercy on us and do us good even as he shows us uh, grace. So I am going to ask Pastor Willie to read this particular one right after this. I am going to show you a few other scriptures that is making profound prophetical sense. In this particular difficult moment. Will you think I'm here? Na monsha muhiye. Eti vindula yene se. Kokobo. Kwe. Na monsha muhiye. Na pochani in sabo ane kwenye mwenye mahonda jwene ya wane shoma kuma so. Na nana metu mbo fi mse fidye. Na weba wana otia sasi nina yini nina so. Eti mwenye na monsure da. Na mwenye hwane de jwene ya fi nyo maribibye nina yemu. Na mwenye kuchu ni pa benenim. Eti mwenye na monsure da. Na mwenye hwane de jwene ya fi nyo maribibye nina yemu. Na mwenye kuchu na. I wouldn't want to do too much of these uh, in my language. But I would like you to, you know, uh, go further and let us uh, uh, go into it. And the grace of God will uh, will help us. Will you can come into it? Na monsha muhuyi Ubiya yuhene muhuyi Na pochane en sabro Na pochane en sabro Ene nkwe mu ni yama udadwe Ene nkwe mu dadwe Ene nkwe mu ni yama Ene hau Ane shema kuma Ame shemu kira aso Ne dana ame tumbo fili sefidi Ase dabi iba ame tumbo mbo fili mu sefidi Ne weba ono otia sasi nina yini Ato diya ye pa A diya nu eba no I mean, I, I, as many times when I came to the realization of the scripture, I have thought, at the end of it, at the same time, 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 now I am beginning to realize, wow, something can happen to the earth and can happen at the same time. It's happening in America. It's happening in Afghanistan. It's happening in Syria. It's happening in Kazakhstan. It's happening in Papua New Guinea. It's happening in New Zealand. It's happening in Australia. It's happening in Madagascar. At the same time. Wow. A papa won't wear tears as in any song. Was it the other day? The moon way. The other day. No one said that. Mungay. 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 What is it? What is all these protocols for? What is all these protocols for? Do not shake hands, sanitize your hands, wash your hands regularly, and all that kind of thing. Don't hug people, don't kiss people, social distancing or physical distancing. What is it all about? It is to escape. The hour of temptation. That is what it's supposed to do. It is all to escape. May we not, you know, quickly be overwhelmed with the anxiety, the frustration, the anger, the confusion, and all the intimidation that has come into our heart, the fear that has gripped us, and all that. May we not be overwhelmed with that. May we also descend into the times in which we are living in. I mean, 
I, I would like people to comfort me. I would like people to encourage me. I would like people to, you know, uh, uh, edify me. I would like people to say words of comfort and tell me that this thing that is coming is going to end tomorrow. Uh, that, you know, we are going to be all asked to go back to work uh, from Monday. Uh, can you just imagine the jubilation that is going to come if our president just can come and announce that everybody back to normal from next week. Oh my God. Who doesn't wonder? Everybody is looking forward to something like that. We all looking forward to, you know, we need to umbrea Vietnam. Yeah, umbrea Vietnam. Maybe I'm brave Vietnam. I'm not a home person. You know, I'm already bored. I'm bored. Boredom. You know, I read, I write, I research, I, you know, I sleep, I eat, you know, and all that kind of thing. Please. Despite the fact that we are preaching the heart of God and telling you that my but Jesus said, This is simple language. Mr. Daniel, he was saying something very profound that uh, Daniel chapter 12 verse number 10 that the people that do wickedly will not understand it. It is only the wise that will understand. Wicked people will not understand what we are talking about. Upset people will not understand what we are talking about. Confused people will not understand what we are talking about. People that have been blindfolded by this world will not understand what we are talking about. But the Bible said but the wise will it come to you? But the wise. Daniel chapter 11 verse. Oh yeah. Verse number 10. Daniel 11 10. Sorry. Daniel 12 10. Daniel chapter 12 verse number 10. Many shall be purified. Many will be purified. And made white. They will be made white. And tried. They will be tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly. The Bible said the wicked will do wickedly. And none of the wicked and shall understand. Two, not even one of the wicked will understand. But the wise shall understand. But the wise will understand. You know, this exactly what you read. When you read the, the scripture that says, Blessed is the nation. Whose God is the Lord? You come to the cognizant understanding from verse number 2. He said they have all digressed. They all do wickedly. There is none that do upright. There is none. I want to tell you the heart and the mind of the Lord. And the grace of God will be upon. You know, there is none. You know, that will understand. And I would like you to, uh, you know, get to the revelation of what we are dealing with. Will you read the word? Daniel, no, uh, the scripture is blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Tell me some number. Let me get it and let us work. Psalm 33 verse number 12, you know, uh, let us work from there. Okay. Hold this, sir, uh, quickly. Let's work. You know, we don't have time with this. It's a very profound and serious, you know, moments. Let's work, sir. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looketh from heaven. He beholdeth all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioned their hearts alike. He considered all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his strength, great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our hearts shall rejoice in him. I want you to read it downwards one more time. Let's start from the blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Let's read that. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Read. And the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. For the Lord looked from heaven. He beholded all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation he looked upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioned their hearts alike. He considered all their works. He considers all their works. And here he is not only talking about... Um, 
wicked things. He is also talking about innovative ideas, creative ideas, you know, inventions, science, technology. He is talking about the abundance of wisdom and knowledge that will increase and that will abound. He was talking about some very, very crucial moments. So he considered all the going to space and satellite work and all that, uh, the creation and the development of vaccines and all that. He, he, he considered, he observes critically the works that they do. They are creative in things, they are innovative ideas and all that kind of he considered it read the word there is no king saved by the multitude the body is delivered by multitude i realize that the nations of this world who have great armies and great uh hosts look at this pandemic they are shivering in the face of it can i hear you a mighty man is not delivered by much strength a horse is a vain thing for safety neither shall he deliver any by his great strength behold the eye of the lord is upon them that the fear eye him. of the lord is upon them that fear him upon them that hope in his and mercy upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive from in and so those of you who are terrified to death this pandemic will not kill you in here it will not kill you you just have to be cautious and stay safe according to all the protocols and pray. Because God fears them. You know when you read something like this, everybody claims it. But there is a condition in it. He said that I of the Lord is upon them, out of the Lord, among them that fear him. His eye is on them and that he will deliver them, not everybody, them, the year them from death he will deliver them there is an indemnity clause there is an exemption there is a pro there is an, a, you know a profound thing them and, and this particular pandemic has tested like I was saying in the first service tested the faith of everybody everybody has been tested we are trying your faith as a Christian, as a child of God, as husbands, as wives, as and all that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, as institutions, as nations, as systems, as economies, and all that. Everything is being tried. But the wise is going to understand that this trying is a profound try that will help everybody. That, you know, we need to come to that cognizant and understand it. Now, can you share the page? Share the page. I want you to do that because we are doing a missionary work this morning and eschatological work for the Lord this morning. So there are so many scriptures now that is making sense. It's making sense. Apart from Luke chapter 21, 34, another scripture that is making sense right now is Matthew 24. It's making sense. Matthew 24 from verse number 3. Let us study, you know, it's making a lot of sense. Let's run it through and then we can be able to go through others that are making sense. Yes, sir. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? You will note emphatically that they asked the question, When shall these things, not when shall this be? When shall these things, these events are so cataclysmic that the authors of the Bible could not even itemize that. These things tell us when it will be. Read the word. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Be careful that you are not deceived. Read. For many shall come in my name many saying Many will come in my name saying I am Christ I am the Christ And shall deceive many They will deceive a lot and of people And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars You will hear wars. wars and rumors of wars See that ye be not troubled See that you are not troubled For all these things must come to all pass All these things the Bible said They must come to pass But the end is not yet I wish businessmen can understand So that in their planning Business women, men can factor certain things and plan wisely. Because some of these things will be interrupting your plan. As we are all sitting home, our plans have been distracted and our plans have, you know, uh, totally been interfered with. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Who planned that this thing was going to be? Who planned in your New Year resolution that because of coronavirus, we will all be in uh, isolation or we will be in alienation or a lockdown? So after lockdown, I will do this and nobody thought about it. I'm telling you, nobody thought about it. Even the people who have glimpses, I'm telling you, are all in a lockdown. I'm telling you, people who have made scientific predictions, prophetical predictions, revelatorical predictions, all these people are part of the lockdown. They, they never thought the voluminous nature of what we are going through right now. The world is going through a trying time, a testing moment, and there are scriptures that, oh yeah, 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 that are now making sense. They are now making a lot of sense. Seriously, they're making a lot of sense. Yeah, nobody thought about it, nobody planned about it. And so, these are some of the things that we will have to be factoring into our planning and our projection in the world. So, you know, uh, this was exactly what uh, Moses said. So, teach me to number my days. Scriptures are making sense. And one of them is Psalm 90 verse 12. So, teach me to number my days that I will apply my heart unto wisdom. And then, you know, this guy also put it in a nice way. David also put it in a nice way. Psalm 39 and verse number 4. Let me know my end. And the few days you have measured of all for me. Yeah. As for man, his days are like grass. It's making sense to me. It's making sense to me. If somebody had told me that that 12 Episcopal bishops would die from a pandemic in one denomination. I wouldn't have believed it. Yeah, I'm talking to somebody. Give up the volume. Let it come. If somebody had told me chief, a chief will travel, you know, into uh, a foreign country and come back and be diagnosed of this pandemic and die off from it, I would never have believed it. It has happened. In the church, you're genius for dinner and fat to baby. If you say, you see, you see, you see, you see, I'm telling you, you see, you see, we are learning some sense and some prudence out of this whole madness. Yeah. All this madness is going to form part of God's end time plan. Wow. I never thought about it. Never thought and imagined it this way. All this madness is going to be part of God's end time plan. Really? Wow. Impressive. Well, can you read the scriptures? Let's hear it. For nations shall rise against nations. Nations will rise against nations. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdoms will rise against kingdoms. And there shall be famines. There will be famines. And pestilences. And pestilences. This is where we have epidemics. Pandemics. But you realize that in this presentation is plural. Epidemics. He said pestilences. If it is one, he would have said pestilence. Pestilences is coming. The wise is going to, I'm telling you, the wise is going to, you know, keep these words in his heart. This was what he was saying uh, concerning in Revelation chapter 1 verse number 3. The Bible was outlining, you know, blessed is he that reads the words of this prophecy and puts these words in his heart. For the day or the time is at hand. Can you read it with me? Blessed is he that read it and they that hear the words of this Blessed prophecy. Blessed is he that read it and hear the words of this prophecy. Correct. And keep those things which are written therein. The words must be kept which are written therein. For the time is at hand. For the time is at hand. For the time is at hand. This is very profound. This is very, very profound. I'm telling you, Revelation chapter 21, it makes a lot of sense in the time in which we are living in. Verse number one, let's work. Revelation 21 verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. I saw a new heaven. I saw a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. The first heaven and the first earth will pass away. And this earth will pass away. Now it's making sense to me. It's making 
a lot of sense to me. This heaven, this skies, and this earth, it will pass away. It will pass away. I'm telling you, the church shall rise up and begin to sound this alarm. It will pass away. Now, everybody is not talking about visa, traveling in business class, traveling in first class, uh, wearing Louis Vuitton, Givenchy, Charles Shadow, Tom Ford, Brioni, and all that. I wear a Gucci, I wear a Chanel, and all that. Nobody is not because everybody have realized that we are all nothing. Your nice suit has nowhere to go. Your nice outfit has nowhere to go. Now we are beginning to rethink and reconsider our ways. My God, I wish the wise can be able to get this revelation. Oh yes, I wish the wise can get the revelation. Share the page. Let us work. We are dealing with something very profound. Yeah, you know, the, the, uh, what Ghana is one place where we love to party. We love to party. You know, our news items during weekends, you know, there is always dancing in it. At a point, Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, you know, it's new. Saturday and Sunday, you always see people dancing. We love to party. Now, no parties. No parties! A corner and to be trapped. A corner to be trapped. If it's in the corner, if you a corner. Will you read that particular in uh, 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 Ecclesiastes chapter 12? Which verse is that? A corner. Pick up the key Bible and then get the direct words for me. And then when you finish, you read it in English and let us, you know, help also our friends who are watching us from around the world who do not understand our language. I, will, I do not even intend to speak a uh, couple of them, a lot of it. I just want us to stick to uh, this. Can you read God's word? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse number uh, Ecclesiastes 12. Okay, read from verse number uh, 1 that says that remember your creator in the days of your youth before before the evil days come. This even is one of the scriptures that is making a lot of sense to me now in this incarceration period. Read the word. And and that's you know you know the homes and the wives and husbands who have no joy in their marriages because their marriages are very faulty and very damaged and all that you know your husband will want to have sex but you are not ready yeah you are not excited in the days in which you are living because the days are evil, evil days. Read the word. can you read that verse in our, uh, in English and let all our brothers and sisters hear which verse is verse that? Five. Verse number 5, read. Also, when they had, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way. Oh and yeah, fear will be in the way. And we I'm, are reading Ecclesiastes chapter twelve. We are in verse number five. I'm talking about scriptures that, if I relate it to these perilous and difficult moments in which you are living in, it makes a lot of sense. 
Read the word. And the almond tree shall flourish. And the almond tree shall flourish. And the grasshopper shall be a burden. The grasshopper will be a burden. And desire shall fail. And desire, desire, it will stop. Because man go away to his desire will cease. I like a Bentley. It will stop. You have a, a Ferrari. You have a, you know, uh, an Aston Martin. If parked, if you, if you like, try and put that vehicle on the street and the police will arrest you instantly. Two weddings that were, you know, had arrest. One in South Africa. You know, they were having a wedding in, uh, uh, in the, uh, you know, KZN uh, province. The police went in there, arrested the bride, arrested the pastor and his wife and children, and arrested 50 congregation people. Congregants, 50 of them were arrested. What happened here at uh, Akosumbo, uh, no, Obuase, the pastor was arrested. The people who were having their wedding, they went to cells and uh, spent a few hours of their honeymoon in cells, police cells. What a historic wedding. They have been arranged before court. Arranged before court. They say, Obia, Obia. Nobody is going to boast of something. The people who boast, you know, because Germany, because Italy, because they can't boast again. This is the days in which we are living. We call it evil days. I'm telling somebody who is listening to us. Will you read the word? Because man goeth to his long because home. Because man is going to his long home. And the mourners go about the streets. And the mourners will go about the streets. Or ever the silver cord be loose. Read the or word. Or the golden bowl be broken. Read or the, the word. pitcher be broken at the mountain. Or the wheel broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the dust. Dust as it was. will return to dust as it was. And the spirit shall return unto God. And the spirit will return back to God who, who gave, gave it. it. Read. Vanity of, of, of vanity. Vanity upon vanity. Say the preacher. Say the preacher. All is vanity. All is vanity. If there is anything that I need to tell the world, everything is vanity, including the opportunity you have. Everything is vanity. Life itself is vanity. I'm telling you, everything we have acquired is vanity. Now I look into the wardrobe and I look into the stock and uh, it doesn't make sense because you cannot even go anywhere. My shoes are dusty from the shoe racks. My suits are dusty from the wardrobe. My shirts have nowhere to go. My ties have nowhere to go. My cufflinks have nowhere to go. Go. All the things that we will wear and boast and make our boast in them and try to show off is all vanity now. Vanity. Our preachings that you know boasted of uh, 5,000 members and 15,000 members and the crowd is there and the crowd means that I am validated of God. All does not make sense now. Where are your 5,000 people? Where are your 15,000 people? The church buildings we boasted in, now all of them are locked. It should be speaking to us. My God, it should be speaking to us. Help me. It should be speaking to us. And so, you know, uh, Matthew chapter 24, you know, as it continues, it makes more sense to me now. Vanity! Upon vanity, there shall be pestilences. America, you know, yesterday on the news, I watched the news. You know, America has almost about, uh, they have almost about 200 food banks all over the country. If you, you know, you don't have food, you don't have a job, you can drive there and then they will pack a box, rice, oil, you know, uh, uh, meat, chicken, everything, and all that. Uh, Kellogg's, whatever, you know, cereals, milk, you know, big box. They will pack it and put it in your car. And then you drive it away. You can come as many times as you want and it will be supplied to you. You know what is happening? As of yesterday, 5,000 people show up to pick up foods. 5,000! So when the Bible said there shall be farming, the farming is not going to be in Somalia. The farming is in New York. 
The famine is in Jersey. The famine is in Connecticut. The famine is in Minnesota. The famine is in Mississippi. The famine is in Chicago. The famine is in London. The famine is in Manchester. The famine is in Cardiff. This is where we are right now. Scriptures are now making sense to me. Read it, Willie, verse 8. Matthew 24, 8. All these are the beginning of sorrow. All these are not even the sorrow. So it is the beginning. My God. Don't tell me, you know, God will bless you. God will bless you. When I'm living in a sinful life that would deny me, according to Isaiah 59, verse number 1 and 2, the Bible says, the eyes of the Lord are not blind to see. His hands are not short to save. His ears are not dull to hear. But your sins have been a wall. A wall. I'm talking to the world. Forget about your money. Your money cannot, you know, now you have cash. And the cash has nothing to buy. Yeah. Money is in the bank. It is of no worth right now. Forget about your, you know, your fame and your prestige and your notoriety and whatever you have been able to. Forget about it. Vanity is all vanity. Now we are learning certain things that are seriously profound. Will you read the word? Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And they shall... will deliver you for you to be afflicted. Oh yeah. They will kill you. They will make wicked and you know uh, uh, allegations against you. And deliver you into the hands of men. They will persecute you. Read it. And you shall be hated of all nations oh, yeah. for my name's sake. Yeah. I, can, I relate to that. This scripture makes a lot of sense to me. You will be hated. Say we will leave. And grow from the town. Would you know it? I'm telling you. When I look at uh, Ghanaians as brothers and sisters, no matter what, you know, where we live around the world, every Ghanaian, when I look, you know, through the internet and all that, I see hatred. We hate each other. We hate each other. And all that still They will hate you. Read. And then shall many be offended. Many yes. who is going, many are going to be offended. And really. shall betray one another. Yeah. And shall hate one another. And they will hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise. Many false prophets will arise. No, now can't woman to read. And shall deceive many. I dare you to know how American man says one to say. One to say says. Yeah, one to say. No, one to say. No, we say no. Best of it. Yeah, to know how American was meant to say. Then can to say no. But I'm running in shit and why you're not there. Yeah, to know some. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax because cold. A, a because iniquity will abound. Not the love of many will wax cold. I have thought about, you know, within this pandemic, I realize that all the uh, uh, terrorist groups have gone into oblivion. Al Shabab, where are you? What, 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 what did the corona, how is the corona going on in uh, ISIS camp? Are you fine? Is everything good? Uh, you know, everything good within the camps and lines? Mumdameki kampasiyasam emiyenti. Bukola! Everything good. Corona has put you all into lockdown. It's been a long time I heard there is an accident at Kofodia. There is an accident at Kumase. There is, corona has put all the accidents to sleep. Accidents on the roads of Accra and Ghana have gone also in alienation, in mitigation. That means names are accidents in this Surukuru. Who mu na ira? Tiyadiyal! Kenya miya jo infantry mo na monti asemiye. 
Uh, the people are asking what is happening with our podcast. Podcast is off. Let's check it for them and let's let them come up. You know, uh, let's rework on the podcast and put them all back and let's work. And and uh, I'm Robbers also. Yeah, mon try. You will corona you the best mama. You will corona you the best mama. We am robber. Me will corona What kind of nonsense is this? Huh? Because iniquity shall abound. The love of many will outwash. People take guns and go and you know inflict people. Uh, Kaswa and this environment. They have blades, sharp razors. They will cut you and cut your body, mutate you because they want your phone, because your, they want your purse, because they want your money and all that. Try it during this Corona season. We see Koroho Montrai. We share our casual bridge and I say, Never will say the Bibi Corona novel. Someone to put off Corona be shiao. When you be honey honey, wouldn't be home, you wouldn't be ready. I'll be uno, but you had ye. I'm a serious man who will be a intimate can be beyond Chiremono. I have a bit shia, Kurumi and Radia. But he shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. The Bible said, But he who will endure unto the end, the same will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom. Maybe let me pause a little bit and say this to everybody who is watching us. It is endurance to the end. Christians, this is not a time to give up. Oh, you better wake up from your pettiness and childishness and let us rise up. And stir your faith again. Because we need to endure to the end. This is where our faith is going to. Will you read God's word? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. For a witness unto all nations. This gospel that I am preaching is going to be preached in all the world. And then, for a witness unto all is nations, going to be a witness. Look at what he puts there. It's going to be a witness for all nations, including the nations who don't believe the gospel. We must go there and preach, use technology to tell them for a witness, so that when they stand before the judgment seat of Christ, they will not say, We didn't hear that. They are going to hear the preaching of the gospel. The preaching of the gospel. And here, we, we are not talking about, you know, jokes. We're talking about Colossians chapter 1. You know, verse number 27. Yeah, the gospel. When we talk about the gospel, we are not talking about, you know, some entreaties or thesis. We are not talking about some kind of paperwork, you know, poetic, harmonic, you know, whatever. That's not what we are talking I'm talking about Jesus Christ. And him crucified. We preach Christ the healer. Christ the deliverer. Christ the savior of the world. Christ the lifter up of heads. Christ the restorer of broken walls. Christ Esther's beauty. Christ uh, the weeping prophet. Christ you know the lover. Yes Christ the lover. Will you read God's word? When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. When you see the abomination of desolation. Spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Stand in the holy Stand place. in the holy church of God. Who so read it? The Bible said he that is reading. Let him understand. Let him understand. And here he was quoting Daniel chapter 11 verse number 31. Can you get there and let's read God's word. Daniel chapter 11 verse number 31 downwards. That is where Jesus was quoting. Now today you ask the, even the Christians to quote scriptures and they have no idea what you are talking about ladies and gentlemen i'm telling you this is the last trumpet that is sounding your last chance not to miss the gift of eternal life is sounding right now this is the time to make it right with god this is the time to turn around from your madness and come and accept salvation which is in christ jesus because whether you like it believe it or not he is going to judge you I'm talking the truth to you. According to John chapter 5 verse 22, he will judge you. He will judge you. I'm telling you the word of God. Will you read God's word? And arms shall stand on his path, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination. They will place the abomination that make of, it de desolate. of desolation in the holy place. Read it. And such as do wickedly against the covenant, shall he corrupt by flattery. The Bible said, and many that do wickedly, they are going to corrupt the covenant. 
They will corrupt the word of God. The word of God is going to be corrupted. I'm telling you, William, they will corrupt the word of God. They will do wickedly and corrupt the word of God. They will say things that the word does not say. The word of God will be corrupted. We will use it for selfish gain. Self-aggrandizement. We are going to exploit people with a word. You can never do anything against the truth. The truth is the truth. You can't bitch the truth, so join the truth. I'm telling you, after Corona, when you continue preaching your nonsense, your church will collapse. Because we want to know the truth and the truth will make us free. It will liberate us from madness. It will liberate us. It will emancipate us. The truth is going to enlighten us. The word of God, the word of truth is going to, oh yeah, I'm talking to you. You better hear it. This is what exactly he was talking about in Colossians 1, 5. Let's read from 4 to 5. Colossians 1, 4 to 5. Very serious. Get your pens and paper. Are you a Christian? And we are quoting scriptures and you cannot write it. Are you serious at all? I didn't come here to joke. I didn't come here as a professor lecturing. I am here telling you the mind and the heart of God. Don't joke with it. When we mention quotations, write it. Document it. Write the vision on tablets and make it plain that he that read it will run with it. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. We've been pampering you all this while. And look at how, you know, the church, you know, have become such a corrupted sons and daughters. We have been able to uh, uh, remain slack and lackadaisical and backslidden. Backslidden. The pastor, the preacher is preaching and they are fidgeting with their phones. What's happening? Nonsense. All over the place. I came here to tell you that God is warning you and giving you another chance to make it right. It is not a joke. It is not a joke. It's not a joke. I'm telling you. Read the word of God. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which ye have to all the saints, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherefore ye heard before in the way. Verse number five. Read. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherefore ye heard before in the word of truth of the gospel. The word of truth of the gospel. After Corona, they pass sorry, a word of truth of the gospel. The word of truth. Can you underline that? Read that again, sir. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven. The pre Listen, there is a hope laid up for laid up for us in heaven. Whereof ye heard before in the word. That was exactly the things that he was speaking about in chapter 3. Yeah. Having been crucified or dead with Christ and risen with him, let us not set our affections on things that are earthly, but on things that are above. Because the things that are earthly, they perish. But the things that are above, oh, that is the life. Can you read it, sir? If ye then be risen with Christ. If ye be then be risen with Christ. Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 says that seek those things which are above. Seek the things that are above. Which, where Christ, where is, Christ is seated. On the right hand of God. Of, on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above. Set your affection. That is exactly what is in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse number 5. Your, your affections should not be earthly. Don't set your affections on corruption. Your affections should not be earthly. Earthly centered. Your affections, I like this, I like this, I like this, should not be earthly. It should not be earthly. Can you read? Not on things on the earth. Not on things on the earth. For you are dead. You are dead. And your life is hid with Christ and in your God. Your life is hidden in Christ. When we say you are dead and your life is hidden in God, this is what it means. If a dead man is laying in the studio right now, if I pinch the dead man, they cannot feel it. The reason is because there is no life in them. In other words, if sin pinches you who are dead and hidden in God, you can never feel, feel a corner last. is dead. This thing is dead to that a corner. you? And so, the work of the cross is an amazing work. You are dead. You are hidden in Christ. 
So the life you live, uh, you do not live to yourself, but to the Son of God, Christ Jesus, who gave his life for you as a ransom. You don't live unto yourself. The Bible said if we live, we live unto the Lord. If, you, if we die, we die unto the Lord. We live, come on, let's work. It, so whether we live or die, we belong to God. You are not of your own self. You live unto the Son of God. Your body is a sanctuary. It's a temple of God. Willie, can we hear you? Romans chapter 14 verse 7. Romans 14 and verse number 7. Can I for, hear you? For none of us live to himself. Nobody living on that lives unto himself. And no man dies to himself. Nobody who dies, dies unto himself. For whether we live. I want to say to the church of God in Christ. Uh, or the church of Christ in God. No, church of God in Christ. Uh, you know, Brother Samuel's... Uh, uh, denomination, Azusa Street, uh, you know, denomination. I would like to say to you, uh, nobody lives unto uh, himself and nobody dies unto himself. So all are bishops, the fathers of the church, who have passed on to glory through convict. I want to tell you to be at peace because they have died unto the law. The Bible said, precious are the death of his saints in his presence. Yeah, they will rise from their labors and their works will follow them. Oh yeah, the people who have died from COVID, I want you to know that if they know Christ, they did not die as casualties. They are not victims. They have been called home. They have been translated home. And so do not weep as those who do not have hope. Yeah, because our hope is in the Lord. Our faith is in Christ. Yeah, if we are absent on the on the earth, we are present with the Lord. Anybody that is absent in this body, the Bible said he is present with the Lord. And uh, nobody who sees that glorious kingdom will like to stay on this wicked earth. This wicked world. Mm, anybody who sees the glorious kingdom will want to remain there. Will you give me For whether we live, whether we live, we live unto the Lord. We live unto the Lord. And whether we die, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. We die unto the Lord. Whether we live there for so or whether die, we live there for or die, we are the Lord. We belong to God. TNA. One of the scriptures that is making a lot of sense is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. Uh, yeah, 2 Timothy chapter 3 from verse number 1. It's making a lot of sense if we sit down and do a comparative analysis or a critical analysis in, the, in this pandemic period or season. It makes a lot of sense. Can I hear you read? This note also. I said this one I want you to know also. That in the last days. In this last days. Perilous times shall come. Difficult times will come. Difficult times. You have an aircraft fleet and pile of aircraft line up. You can't fly them. You have passengers and in different locations who want to travel to other locations but they cannot travel. Why? Airspaces are locked. Borders are closed. Airports are closed. Difficult moments. It is not only economical. Even though the economies of the whole earth have been brought down to its knees. I'm telling you. be a better chance when you scare. When you scare me, dear. You scare through me when you eat. Everybody is feeling the pinch. There is nobody who can tell me they don't care about Jack. The lockdown can continue till three years. Nobody can tell me that. I'm telling you, as a matter of fact, there are people who cannot survive one more week of this lockdown. Yeah. There are people, yeah. You know, when, when we send a uh, round for uh, our members in the branches, we send, you know, food and money around to be given to them. And we realize that, hey, in this pandemic season, if somebody gives you even one dollar, ten CDs, waboa papa. When we went round, you know, bank pastors going round to their members to give them food and money, then we realize that they cherish the food pile and the little money that I will say little money is not little to them. Sure. From their one, they have appreciated. Serious appreciation. It is not a joke. I'm telling you the word of God. And this hour of temptation, ha, this hour of temptation, I know what they Papa. 
I know what did it. I'm bringing my message to his people. And I'm going to be closing very soon. But will you read the word? For men shall be lovers of their, on the, of their own self. Difficult moments are going to come. It's going to cripple economies. As I'm speaking to you, a lot of people are already, you know, out of jobs. I know so many schools, they are not waiting for the pandemic to go over. They have laid off staff. Laid off staff. They don't want the staff to, eh, they, they have not paid me. They, no, 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 no. They cannot even predict when this thing is going to end. They don't want to keep on because they cannot sustain certain salaries. Staff have been laid off. What happens to all those people? If they have not saved enough money, what happens to them? And may I tell you, Ghanaians, majority of us are not savers. Majority! That is Yan Sambakwa. Majority are not savers. So difficult moments, the Bible said, are going to come. This is a very serious thing that we are talking about because men will be lovers of themselves. Covetous. Covetous. Posters. Posters. Proud. 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 Read. Blasphemous. They will blaspheme. Disobedient to parents. As of blasphemers, I have a lot of Ghanaians who are blasphemers. They talk nonsense against the name of Christ Jesus and his kingdom and his coming and his word and the glorious things and the holy things of God. Can you read God's word? Disobedient to parents. They are going to be disobedient to parents. Unthankful. Oh yeah, they Un will be unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection. Without natural affection. Truth breakers. They are going to be covenant breakers covenant breakers. False they, can, accuses. they cannot hold marriages. They cannot hold oaths. They cannot keep promises. This is where, and talking about keeping of promises, last uh, Friday, we had laughter. And because of the lockdown, after much prayer, the Lord is laid on my heart that because of this lockdown, we should do, you know, some series on laughter. So I'm going to start what I call the lockdown edition. And I'm going to do it for two more Fridays uh, after this particular one that we did i'm doing two more fridays so coming friday i'm doing laugh talk lockdown edition one and then the next one i will do laugh talk lockdown edition two and to sign it you lockdown no who are here don't know you're free move here in your country and man i i i want you know uh uh because people are really suffocating it's not only you know suffocating in terms of finances or anything also they are also suffocating in terms of uh you know what enough i'm quite sure so i'm going to you know teach people how we can be able to cohabit and to you know enjoy ourselves because you know we've not had holidays and all for those of you who understand the concepts of marriage and relationship they are enjoying them so i mean i i i, I two things reason why i i want to go back to work uh jesus rally i have 200 crusades right now uh, i am in a, a backlog a big 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 backlog and i need to go back to my crusade the next thing after church is uh uh, forest in Bible because yeah, I miss that a lot, you know. And so, uh, apart from these three things, and can lock down now and get your come up, hey, you come up. My name is the day, and once you shed them, hey, you come up. I'm telling you, shed them and go be via Ubian so messray, Ubian mopno, Ubian yaya, a whole toy, and you lock down. You know, we're having a lovely and a good time. So, we on Friday, we are going to do lockdown session one and lockdown session two of Laugh Talk. So, tell everybody and let us get ready for that. It's going to be a very lovely moment by the grace of God in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Now, I am going to use the opportunity, Willie, to follow you. We work, let's work. False accusers. Read. Incontinent, fierce, despisers of that which is good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but not the power thereof. From such turn away. The Bible said, from such turn away. This is a very profound thing. There are scriptures that are making very sense. You know, you, you, you remember, Willie, when the, the Bible, Jesus said, I, I am going to, you know, separate the nation, divide the nation, the sheep on my right hand and the goats on my left. And I'm going to tell them that are on my left, be back, you workers of iniquity. All these scriptures now are making a lot of sense to me. 
making profound sense to us right now. I'm telling you. And so when you read downwards, as he said, the love of many will was cold. And you build it up down. And then he says that, pray that your flight will not be on the Sabbath or, or on also, you know, during travail of birth. Yeah. Because we are living in difficult moments. A lot of end time scriptures are now making profound meanings. If you are there, you can read it. Matthew, you know. 24. Matthew 24. Can, you can continue. Sir. The, this same. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Read that. And this gospel, okay. mm. Then let them which be in Judea flee into, mount, into the mountain. Let them which is on top on the house read, top read, not read, come read, down read, to take anything out of his house. Neither let him that which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. But pray that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Really? And except those days be shortened. There, except those days be shortened. There should no flesh be saved. Nobody can be saved. But for the elect. But sake, for the sake of the elect. Those days shall be shortened. Those days are going to be shortened. So this pandemic will pass away because of the elect. And that is why you cannot stop praying. Pray! Pray! Somebody keep praying! Pray! You need to pray that you might be able to receive strength to escape. Read God's word. But pray, okay. For then shall be Verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it was possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in a desert. Go not forth. Behold, he is in a secret chamber. Believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of, out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and there shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and glory and great glory and he shall send his angels and with great sound of a trumpet they shall gather together I his want elect. you to take note of that particular verse which verse is that? 31 31 read it you know gradually let's work and he shall send his angels with a great the sound. bible said he will send his angels with great trumpet to do what? And they shall gather together. That is exactly what we are doing now. The prophetical stance of where we are, this is it. We are sounding the trumpet, gathering God's elect before his coming. Read. From one, from end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. Now learn, Jesus is saying, learn the parable of the fig tree when its, its leaves are tender and put it forth leaves, Come. you know that summer is nigh. You know that summer is nigh. So likewise see, when you shall see all these when things, when you see all these things, know that it is near. Everybody should know that the coming of the Son of Man or the Son of God, Christ Jesus, our Lord, know that it is near. Even at the doors. Even by the door. Verily I say unto you, Verily I say unto this you, generation shall not pass. This generation can never pass. So all these things be so fulfilled. All these things. Let the Christians hear that. You can't pray it away. You can't break it away. You can't wish it away. You can't close your eyes away. All these things, whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, it surely will come to pass. The people don't want to hear preaching like this. Whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, surely it will come to pass. Read that verse again, will it? Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass. This generation can never pass. Till all these things be fulfilled. Till all these are fulfilled. Huh? Till all these things shall come to pass. All these things all these things, all these things is very serious. All these things, all these things. I want us to read something in the book of Peter. One of the scriptures that makes a lot of sense in this particular times in which we are living in. Book of Peter. 
Very, very, very profound. Book of Peter. Second Peter chapter 3. Second Peter chapter 3. Second Peter chapter 3. Let's read from verse number 8 first. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Don't be ignorant of this one particular thing. That one day is the Lord with the Lord as a thousand one years. One day is with God like a thousand days. And a thousand, and a thousand days with the Lord are like one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. God is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness. As some men are counting slackness. But his long suffering towards Oh yeah, his us. long tough suffering toward us. Not willing that any should perish. God is not willing that anybody should perish. That is why as he has opened the door of grace. He is pushing everybody into it. Pushing everybody into it. Read. But that all should come to repentance. All should come to repentance. And the reason why uh, this pandemic, this pandemic should grab it, draw our hearts to repentance. The day is near. It is close. Come close. Come to repentance. Repent, turn around, come to repentance. Read, will you? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the, the night. The day of the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Oh, yeah. The heavens and the earth is going to pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with a fervent the heat. The elements are going to melt with fervent heat. The earth also, the works that are therein shall be burned. Oh, yeah. Up. The works. And here, he's not only talking about morality and et ethical stuff. He is also talking about innovation, like I said in the other one, innovation, skyscrapers, economies, uh, in inventions, technology, and all stuff like that. It will melt away. Everything will melt. If somebody have told me that Dubai will shut down, I will never believe. Because Dubai is a city that does not sleep. Dubai does not sleep. 24 hours. If I want to shop around 4 a.m., I can walk into the shop and people are shopping. Shopping! They don't close. You can shop anytime. People land in Dubai and straight to the shopping mall and go. You can walk into an eatery restaurant or any, you know, and go and eat around 3 a.m. They don't close. As I'm speaking to you, if you walk on the streets of Dubai, you'll be arrested. Everybody is incarcerated. And the Bible said it shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. I, I am amazed at the, you know, events that is happening at the same time. Everywhere. Shocking. 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 Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. When I think about it, I'm, 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 I'm imagining things. Very anointed people and very anointed churches are all stuck in their rooms. Wow. This thing should be speaking to us. Let us stop depending on ourselves and our preachers and start depending on God and back to the Holy Spirit. Total dependence on the Spirit of God. I'm talking to you. The church must learn lessons from everything that is happening right now. We must learn profound lessons from this so that we can be able to understand that human beings are very limited. It doesn't matter, you know, their ability and capacity and their value and what they are able to do and their mental conscious capacity and, you know, magnanimity. I'm telling you, as a human being, you are limited. The moment one person is dead, we all surround that person helpless and hopeless. Unbelievable. This morning, we are reflecting on verses of the end time. Issues that are surrounded us. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And Jesus said in Matthew that these must come to pass. It surely has to come to pass. It has to come to pass. It must come to pass. You know when he was talking in Revelation chapter 1 verse 3, you read it. And when I, I realized how you read it, it really touched my heart when you were reading that particular verse. As whatever, uh, you know, you read it to me in Revelation 1 3, the Bible said, for the day is closed. He also said in Revelation chapter 22 verse 7. Revelation 22 7. I want you to read that particular one. Will you read the word? Behold, 
I come quickly. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of this word. Behold, I come quickly. Anybody that holds this thing in high esteem, the Bible said, blessed is he. Blessed is he. That is Revelation chapter, you read? Yes. 22 verse, verse 7. Read verse number 10. And he said unto me, Seal not the saying of the prophecies of this book, for the time is at hand. The time is at hand. The time is at hand. I'm telling everything, everything we have worked for, yet they jump. Everything. Ah, this thing calls for reflection. This thing calls for deep, deep reflection. Today I'm taking a lot of time. I want you to understand certain things. This thing calls for a reflection. It calls for a reflection. And salvation is free. America is locked down. Germany is locked down. UK is locked down. Ghana is locked down. And heaven is open. Heaven is not on lockdown. He is calling on the sinner. On the ministry of reconciliation. That no matter what it is. God seeks an intimate relationship with you. A daily intimate relationship with you. Through Christ Jesus. And you cannot turn this opportunity down. I'm telling you, there is heaven, it's real. There is hell, it's also real. You can't joke with it. This morning I was saying in the first service that uh, if there is anything that anybody must take very seriously, be serious. Be serious. Stop joking with your salvation and get serious. Get serious. And go see that man. And then grow full crono number hell. And go see the band your baby jamming. And go see the band your baby crono. And go see the band your baby a woo. And go see the band your baby tina wood dear the bonnet. And you will come and go see the band. And go go see the band. Anybody a yes, I mean, I was woman yen yamiya hini. I'm telling you the word of God. You don't have to joke with it. Everything is telling me that Jesus is coming again. Everything, 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 everything. One of the things that is making very, a lot of sense, you know, John 14, 1 and 2. John 14, 1 and 2. John chapter 14, 1 and 2. Will you read God's word? Let not your heart be troubled. Be ye believe in God and believe also in me. That is all you need to do as a Christian in all this madness that surrounds us. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in Christ Jesus. In my father's house are many in mansions. In my father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so I will not have told you I will go to prepare a place for oh, you. Yeah. And if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may also be. You know this is very profound as he puts it because when he began to uh Build up on this, it, I, I get I get humbled in the you know uh kind of it, it reminds me of uh, Hebrews chapter eleven. Hebrews chapter eleven. And uh, when he began to talk about some you know uh, interesting things from verse number thirty two, you know, I say uh, what shall I say more? that all this and started talking about few people and they said all these people uh the patriarchs of it read down let's hear it God just said, who through faith subdue kingdoms rout righteousness obtain promises stop the mouth of lions quench the violence of fire escape the edge of the sword out of weakness were made strong wax valiant in fight turn to flight the armies of the aliens women received their dead raised to life again and others were tortured not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection and others had triumph of cruel and markets better resurrection Woman, Julia, their faith that was in God was not for, you know, earthly things. A better resurrection. Read the word. And others had trial of cruel markings and squadrons. Yeah, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with a sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in desert and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. Cool. Made perfect. Chapter 12. You know, uh, verse number 30, no, 39 and 40. Read it one more time. Very profound something. And all these, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise, 
God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. Ah, you're missing the thing, you know. Uh, 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 take your time in those two verses. That two li- those two lines, very interesting. And then I'm going to... And all these, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. God having provided some better thing for us. That God has provided a better thing. We lived here in the year. A better thing. A better thing. Not a car. Not a house. A better thing. I'm talking about something very serious. Hebrews 11, 10. Go back to verse 10. And let's hear it. Same Hebrews 11, verse 10. Let's hear. This is one of the scriptures that make a lot of sense. In this time. Read the word. For he looked for a city which had foundations. He looked for a city which had foundations. Whose builder and maker is God. Whose builder and maker is God. <laughs> you know, read the previous two verses. It will make sense. By faith, Abraham, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of oh, promise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Read. As in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, and heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city. For he looked for a city. Which had foundation. Which had foundation. He, as he was walking with God, his eyes, his heart, his affections was not on things. But Genesis 14 too had made it clear that he was very, very rich. Yeah. Genesis 13 too. Genesis 14, 1 down was made it clear that Abraham was a very, very successful person. Let's do chapter 13, verse 2 first. Genesis 13, verse 1 and 2. Genesis chapter 13, 1 and very quickly. Let's go. And Abraham went out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and lot with him into the south. And Abraham was very rich in Abraham cattle. Abraham was very rich in cattle. He was very rich. But the very rich person Look for a city whose maker and builder was God. There is a life after this life. Maybe let me finish with that. There is a life after this life. I'm going to say that again. Job asked the question in Job 14 verse number 14. If a man dies, will he live again? In other words, he was asking, is there life after this life? And I'm answering with Hebrews chapter 9 27. After death there is judgment. If there is no life there cannot be judgment. After this life there is another life. And the people that are going to enjoy in that life are the people with eternal life through Christ Jesus. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. That's what I'm talking to you about. Romans 6, 23. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ. Me know, eh, my man got some chow, Pastor Willie. And then I'll finish it. My soul has to be fed. My soul has to be fed. I am a soul. My soul has to be fed. I am a soul wandering in the wilderness and I'm looking for salvation. Once I am in Christ Jesus, I need to grow up. This message, I need to hear it and go and share it with another person. So everybody who have heard me this morning, you have work to do. You have work to do. You are not just hearing and just watching. No. You are getting blessed to go and be a blessing. Sound the alarm. Jesus is coming back again. I'm telling you the word of God. Really, I was here to me many people who say yes, we made you. Say you are son them and I say, you know, and that is why I sang that song. Yeah, that song. F on the thing, uh, Pastor Steve. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Praise his name and lift him high. Praise God. He's coming back. Again, yeah, it sounds like that. Sounds like that. Or through Cronimo, or through Cronimo, a honor mate, or soon send Cunyum, where Malemly, where Malemly, Abba, no one, some quail. 
Como Bolivia, Bofue Bella, Hallelujah, Que Bolio Shi, Nishao Su, Hey, Abonuma, Inca Como Bolivia, Bofue Bella, Hallelujah, Que Bolio Shi, Hey, Nishao I'm telling you, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Yeah. It's an old one like that. When we all get to hell, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Yeah. When we all see Jesus, we will sing. And shout victory. Now that you don't sing this, and many people don't even know this song. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Hey! When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout victory. When we all, when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing it will be When, when we, we all, we all see Jesus, Jesus We will sing and shout victory There is a song really that says that, you know To all who seek the captain of Israel's host and God All for who seek the land above beneath Come on Shadows wing above the cloud, all thy protecting our strength, our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy word. Above. There is a land above. There is a land above. Because so much no. There is a land above. We have to seek it. I'm telling everybody who is watching me. Now listen to me as I bring my message to a close and tell everybody something very there is a land above. There is a land above. The Lord has sent us. Go to them in my today. You want us on a kind of go up on today. Would you do in you say go up on today? Yeah, we are not in the church building. This is the time to exhibit the love of Christ. And when we say the love of Christ, I will not talking about you know, will be a, a pro or pro crani a one man pro. Let me say this though every human being is like cooked food. Every human being is like cooked food. If we don't heat you up, you are decomposing. Onipe bia te se duyani a yanua. Yan kawoshia. Oh say. Wuliba minga samoncho. Yan kura. Enipa kura si a ya kriso fuono. And juma pa. I'm telling you. I saw the dem. A kriso fuono. In the din sound so I'm telling you, you move to do on one. You move to do on one. I'm telling you. Kaju kunu di pasa won't you mean fawe chida? U free America bagana ha me chiro bra u be boa win yin. Jani pa ya kayaka di ya yen ho. Ye do yan yan ya dua yen yen ho. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are. We hurt each other and finish and go and sit in the church. No wonder the Bible said now judgment must begin from the house of God. First Peter chapter 4 and verse number 17. That is one scripture that also makes a lot of sense to me. When all this lockdown thing was going to start, the first thing was on the church. They said no church. No church. Do you know Willie, as I'm speaking to you right now, Friday, last Friday, so for mommy, love. 
They put a pastor four years in prison. Four solid years. Why? Because he had flouted and defiled the lockdown instructions of His Excellency the President. Four years! Now God trained two months. He trained two months! I gave you on my said there is a big difference between courage and foolishness. You are a cuckoo drew and you would jibi. And my reading three sardines soon say. I could go draw the and can go feed. Say, I will be power. I was saying, go and listen to me and say, it should be me. But not when my president is speaking and he is speaking according to Romans chapter 13. Verse 1. Let all flesh be subject to the authority that be. Or authority. I like the one uh, in Jesus. Let them all be subject to the authority that has glory. For there is no other authority except that which is ordained by God. In verse number 7, 8 and 9 he said, To whom honor is due, let honor be given. To whom tribute is due, let tribute be given. And to whom custom is due, let custom be given. I'm speaking to the righteous. Will you read First Peter chapter 4 17? Read it, let's hear you. First Peter chapter 4 verse 17. And I read, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the judgment house of God. Judgment has to begin from the house of God. And if it first begin at us. It will begin with the preachers from our people. It will begin. Oh yeah. It's going to begin with preachers, deacons, elders. Come on, Persica. I see me see. Presbyter, wine, 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 wine. Dim! I come out. Oh, why? Grofawa, I saw him on the Pesca, Cladi, I call Koya, Juma. They will not give it to them. I call you a bad chiam in a hotel. And you know, when it comes to that, a lot of people also come with a, with a courage and begin to talk nonsense all over. But we in prayer that when it's when you hear the, the spike in your eyes, the beam in your eyes, you have not yet dealt with it. You come talking about somebody's. You don't have the moral right to be rebuking people when you are living in madness. I'm telling you the heart of God. I've taken a lot of time today because it's necessary. Really, it's necessary. Revelation chapter 20. Revelation 20. Revelation chapter 2 0. Revelation chapter 20. The TV dry end from verse number 1 was what you were born. Some of the two of It is there. But I'm going to read from verse number 11. It says, I'm going to make it now. He was sorry, and he had to the resurrection and judgment. Willie, can you read God's word? And I saw a great white throne. I saw a great white throne. And him that sat on it. And him that sat on it. From whose face the earth and the heavens the fled Bible away. The Bible said his face, the earth and the heavens fled away. And there was found no place for them. And they were found no place for them. And I saw the dead. And I saw the dead. Small and great. Small and great. Stand before God. They stood before God. And the books were open. And the books were open. And another book was open. And another book was open, which, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged. And the dead were judged. Out of those things which were written in the out books. Out of those things which were written in that book. According to their works. According to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in and it. And the sea gave up the dead that was in it. And the Death and hell delivered up the and dead. Death and hell delivered up their dead. And they were judged, every man according to their works. And they were they were what really judged. Judged according to their works. Yeah. And the death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book hey, of life my Lord. was cast into the lake of fire. There is a lake of fire. That was what uh, the rich man and Lazarus saw. Lazarus, the rich man. And Father Abraham, this was what they saw. I'm bringing my message to his people. Share the page. We are working. 
Will you read the word? Luke 16, 19. Read. There was a certain rich man which had clothed in purple and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's I want you to listen to this passage very well. Jesus is speaking. Read. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosoms. And the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes and being in torment and seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom and he cried and said father Abraham have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame but Abraham said son remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things and likewise Lazarus evil things but now is comforted and thou art tormented and beside all this between us and you there is yep, a great yep, God fix yep. so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot neither can they pass to us thou would come from things. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house, for I have five brethren, that they may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, they have Moses and the they prophets. They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Let them hear them. And he said, nay, Father Abraham, but if one went out unto them from the dead, they will repent. But he said unto them, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither would they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Mm. You know, in my closing summation, I am going to read Mark 16, verse number 15. Mark 16, 15. Will you read God's word? And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world. Go ye into all the world. And preach the gospel to every preach creation. Preach the gospel to everybody. Whether they want to hear it or not. That's not the point. Preach to them. Read, sir. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believes and is baptized will be saved. But he that believed not. Listen to what we are talking about. Read. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Read. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink it, it deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. This is a beautiful section of scripture. Even as I bring my message to a close, I am going to, you know, ask you to pray with me because this is one of the profound statements that Jesus has sent us to come and tell you. Now, to everybody who have backslided, who used to love God and but you don't anymore, I am going to tell you this one. Luke 16, 16. Last week we read it and this week we're reading it again. Luke 16, 16. Read the word. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time the kingdom of God is preached and everyone presses into everyone it. Everyone is pressing to enter into eternal life. Press to enter. Pray. So will be shenimum. Pray, brother. So will be urem. Pray. I pray. Am I going, I'm going to pray with you right now. Hallelujah. And many of these songs, yeah, it touches my heart. Family, 
This is what the church needs. Yeah. As Rajiya boy, a two big chat said to charge me kra. Yeah. It said to charge me kra. I feel the presence of God. There is an anointing flowing right now. Oh, sister. Come on. Come In Matthew chapter 25, verse number 32 to 33, he made something profound in God's truth. I wanted to read it. And then right after that, I'm going to pray with you. Matthew chapter 25, verse number 32 and 33. Very serious revelation of God's truth. We read English, read three, both, and let's take it from there. Matthew 25, 32 and 33. Sir, so, let's work. Matthew chapter 25. Verse number 32 and 33. And before him shall be gathered all nations. The Bible said all nations will gather before the throne of God. And he shall separate them from one another. He will separate them. There is going to be a separation. Not everybody will enter the kingdom. There will be a separation. Read the word. As a shepherd divided his sheep from goats. As a shepherd 
divides the goats away from the sheep. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. The sheep will be at his right hand. But the goats on the left. The goats on his left hand. Then shall the king say unto them, the, the king on the right Jesus hand. will tell them on his right hand. Come ye blessed of my father. Come you who are blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared Inherit for you. Inherit the kingdom that is prepared for you. From the foundation of the word. Read the word. It is ended. Now I am going to read the tree and quickly we are bringing the thing to one. Famisio famisi yema chikwa kosi sa necha kuru famisu ga misu hawa masitu mi reza setu cha chi. Remember, Read. And last scripture is going to be Matthew chapter 21. Sorry, Matthew, yeah, Matthew chapter 7. Rather, verse number 21. Matthew 7 from verse 21. Read. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord. Not everybody that goes to church, that preaches this that prophesies will enter the kingdom of heaven but, but he that doeth the will of my father he that doeth the will of the father which, which is, is in heaven read the word many will say to me in that day many Lord, will Lord. come and say to me in that day have we not prophesied have we not in thy prophesied name? Prophesied in your name? And in thy name have we cast and out devils? Have we not cast out devils in your name? And in thy name done many wonderful works. Read the word. And then will I profess unto them? I will say unto them. I knew you. I not. never knew you. I De don't know you. Depart from me. Depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. Listen to me, and that is why come unto me, all you that labor and are embedded or embedded with the yoke of care of this life. Come unto me, I will give you rest. Jesus is calling. Don't refuse. His voice is calling. Do not rebel. Your hand is on your chest this morning. Or this afternoon. Few minutes before afternoon. Can somebody say, dear Jesus. This afternoon. This afternoon. I make it right with you. I make it right with you. I rededicate my life to you. I rededicate my life to you. Not only to be a Christian. Not only to be a Christian. But also to be a missionary. But also to be a missionary. For the kingdom. For the kingdom. Here I am Lord. Here I am Lord. Send me. Send me. Use me. Use me. For your glory. For your glory. You are doing many things in this end time. You are doing many things in this end don't time. Don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Please. Please. Don't do it without don't me. Don't do it without me. Let me be part. Let me be part. Of the end time army. Of the end time army. Help me. Help me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Let me be part of it. Let me be part Somebody of it. Somebody say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Come in. Come in. Empower me. Empower Anoint me. me. Anoint me. Use me. Use me. Mightly. Mightly. For signs. For signs. For wonders. For wonders. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me be. Let me be. The soul. The soul. Of the earth. Of the earth. And the light. And the light. Of this world. Of this world. Let me be. Let me be. Your voice. Your voice. In this end time. In this end time. Use me. Use me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, in Jesus' in name. Jesus name.